Hello, this is Farshid with another episode of Just For You. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, linear electric actuators. So what I have here is our mechanical part of this uh, electric actuator. Majority of these parts are manufactured using a 3D printer. What we have here is basically our uh, housing. And this particular linear actuator uh, has a 75 millimeter stroke. Uh, we have a screw that runs the entire length of our actuator. Uh, at this end, we have a nut underneath this end cap, another nut on the back side that will keep this uh, end of this screw captive. And our carrier has a nut that is attached to it. So when the screw turns, since it's captive at uh, the far end, the nut that is attached to our carrier moves, therefore causes the carrier to move. So here's a closer look at that uh, um, carrier and the screw and the nut that I was uh, talking about. And last but not least, we'll bring in our uh, motor portion of this electric actuator. I have a brush uh, DC gear motor here. Um, built a little coupler that, again, using a 3D printer. We have our directional switch for forward and reverse and our motion. And we can flip it to the other direction. And how these guys couple together is basically we'll uh, bring them close to each other so they're coupled this way right and once we run our motor we can see that our linear electric actuator concept is complete we can switch our direction and we can see our carrier moving And that is it. Uh, that's our electric uh, actuator, the linear uh, electric actuator. And hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.